Hi, or welcome back to Chasing Financial Freedom. Today, another interesting video about an interesting stock, Ideanomics. So, let us briefly look at what is happening on the stock market. We have seen stocks turn sharply lower as virus spike. Election uncertainty weighed on markets. We have seen a bigger correction of 2.34%, the Dow is down 2.2% and the Nasdaq is down 2.44%. So here we can see that everything, the whole market is going down today. So maybe this is the start of a correction, we don't know, it is uh, relatively early to say that, but we will focus right now on the a very interesting stock in my opinion, which is IDEX, Ideanomics. Ideanomics today is up 1.45% at the time as I'm doing filming this video. And what can we say about Ideanomics? Well, about Ideanomics, we can say that it is an interesting company. We don't have any recommendations because it is a fairly uh, young company. And here we can see that Ideanomics focuses on monetizing the adoption of commercial electric vehicles, associated energy consumption and developing financial services and fintech products. Its mobile energy global division provides financial services and incentives for commercial fleet operators, including group purchasing discounts and battery buyback programs. This division also offers solutions for the procurement, financing, charging and energy management needs for fleet operators of commercial electric vehicles. The company's Ideanomics Capital Division provides financial service solution. This division is involved in the areas of capital markets, such as financial products advisory and creation, which specific focus on the application of blockchain and artificial intelligence in financial technology. This division also operates ICAR, an exchange-traded fund that tracks the Innovation Lab's Next Generation Vehicle Index, which comprises of global stocks that have exposure to the team of electric and self-driving autonomous vehicles. The company was founded in 2004 and is headquarters in New York and in Beijing, China. So, we have an international company that is situated in New York and in China. They are in the EV sector, which is a strong buy uh, point. Again, we have to uh, acknowledge that this is, of course, for entertainment purposes only. And here we can see that, so as we have said, they are, they are in the EV sector. They are strongly, they are strongly into this uh, sector. If you find this information interesting and worthy, please put a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you feel so with new ideas like this. So we have seen the stock uh, jumped 13 days ago and it is associated in the EV market. We have strong buying points and because they're in the EV sector and we know from big data and from the uh, macroeconomical stats that the company is in the right sector, they are in the EI, so artificial intelligence, they are in, in the technology sector and they are moving further forward with their plans. So in my opinion, interesting uh, things happening. So here we have a new uh, news, Ideanomics features in syndicated brokers covering purchase agreements for 2000 units of D1 BD's custom electric ride. They are going to write this uh, trend again, which in the future with the um, uh, co-traveling and the pandemic and so on, it is going to be an interesting uh, thing to say the least. So I have seen many analysts uh, on the internet and on, on some special forums talking about this stock and about the price predictions. So the price predictions go from four dollars, three dollars, one dollar and a half to even twenty, twenty-five dollars. So the the growth can be exponential and it can actually make some people millionaires. 
and here we can we can see their web page interesting web page empowering a new economy so they are in the future sector in the disruptive sector similar to uh, Arx invest interesting uh, ETF uh, so interesting to say the least Dynamics is a global company driving mobile energy transformation and the green fintech revolution so what can I say great great um, sectors to be in right now for the next five to ten years because we are going to see a shift we're going to see an increase in the uh, e-commerce we're going to see a big shift into all these uh, things here we can see the um, the stock uh, has risen today and we see a great volume why is this important because this volume show, shows us that it is a traded stock so it's harder to manipulate it and it it shows great interest in this stock we have seen the all-time high of or uh, I mean 24 20 uh, 52 weeks high of four dollars 75 cents which is an interesting high to say the, le the least and we have it stay at around around two dollars which is in my in our opinion a healthy place to be right now after the uh, after the uh, initial growth of the company and then if you look at the technicals of ideanomics let's see a full chart and here we can see we take or we take one day here we can clearly see that it has fallen from 2018 from four dollars has fallen down to one dollar uh, 13 and has even has gone even lower to here was around 38 cents and here we are going up here as you can see we have a resistance line here we can expect the stock to be traded in the near future we have seen a high right up here this spike shows us that it could not hold so here the stock was sold and here we go down 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 and so here we're moving around this average you can expect this stock to to move around this territory so it will probably go down around one dollar seventy five and it will go up to around here we can see around two dollar forty two dollar fifty so his this is the range of the stock here we have uh, you can see here a support line at around one dollar seventy five so it would that would be if you were to uh, invest in this company right now from from a technical point of view it would be wise to invest right here at the resistance uh, at the support line if we see then there we have a support line here at around one dollar thirty nine so this is what all the um, traders and investors are looking for in the stock market now based on all that where do we see this company in the future so we are we are essentially uh, studying this, the stock market we are studying the fundamentals we are studying the technicals of a certain stock and to us this stock seems very interesting again because it's in the right sector and if, uh, if we're going to invest in this company because we know that it is going this uh, trend is going to move forward and we know that the stock is probably going to go up so there are more probability of the stock going up than down nothing of course nothing is certain in the stock market as we have seen we are seeing a small correction of the market in general as you can see here but you know we were at the all-time high and here if you look back 
and the stock market in general you can see here on one year uh, S&P market summary you can see that it has gone up here we have seen the bottom of that year and here we have seen almost constant growth here we had a small correction and here another small correction but maybe we can talk in another video about that and here you see we are seeing see here we are seeing a correction here another small correction which is everything this is all healthy and here we are seeing another small correction so right here if you would look at this line you would see that we are probably going to go up it all depends on some good news we are going to see more stimulus checks which will dilute the dollar which is going to bring prices up you can see in the bitcoin that we had uh, we are having now a small correction this is some profit taking which is healthy and actually probably nothing bad about it so i we hope that you enjoyed this video we are going to see, uh, hear from us soon until then good luck in the stock market and have fun